and listen to what Fauci was saying a year ago versus now. And when we're, when we're contemplating 2021 versus 2022, let us not forget this man, and this is the centerpiece. This is pretty much, remember, under the CDC's current law, under the, under the regulations, under Chevron, the president of Chevron, anything the CDC says, anything the government says is science. And now the definition of misinformation is anything that contradicts what they're saying and could lead to people not doing what they say. That is the bizarro world we are in right now. And, and everybody thought this Handmaid's Tale world was going to come from Republicans. They thought it was going to come from Mitt Romney's. They thought it was going to come from Donald Trump's. It was really coming from bureaucrats like Anthony Fauci. But let, let's, let's listen here. People should not be walking around with masks. Let me just state for the record that masks are not theater. Wearing a mask might make people feel a little bit better. And masks are protective. And we Once again, contradictions. I'm just going to play this, but we're listening for contradictions. This video makes it very clear. It's not providing the perfect protection that people think that it is. There has not been any indication that putting a mask on and wearing a mask for a considerable period of time has any deleterious effects. There are unintended consequences. People keep fiddling with the mask and they keep touching their face. And can you get some schmutz sort of staying inside there? Of course. You do not need to wear a mask indoors if, in fact, you've been vaccinated. Good that you're vaccinated, but in a situation where you have people indoors, particularly crowded, you should wear a mask. Holy shit, the same show. The same show he contradicts himself. I mean, this is insane. So even if you are vaccinated, you should wear a mask. If, in fact, you are vaccinated, fully vaccinated, you are protected, and you do not need to wear a mask outdoors or indoors. When the children go out into the community, you want them to continue to wear masks. You know, if you look at at, at children outside, particularly when they're with the family, uh, walking down the street, playing a game or what have you, don't have to wear a mask. The, 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 The pediatric, the Academy of Pediatric, actually makes that recommendation that children should be wearing masks uh, from two years old onward. And you're asking now if your child is a member of your household, can you walk outdoors with your child without a mask? According to that chart, the answer is yes. But the child can't, not to beat it, yeah. beat it to death. Yeah. Yes, yes. Okay. Because now okay. the CDC says, I mean, I think I've got this right. One mask is better than zero masks. Two masks is better than one mask. But you don't have to have double masks. Is, is I, that right? I mean, <laughs> you know, it became clear that cloth coverings that you didn't have to buy in a store that you could make yourself were adequate. And then you want it to fit better. So one of the ways you could do it, if you would like to, is put a cloth mask over, which actually here and here and here where you could get leakage in is much better contained are you a double masker dr fauci look like you are (laughs) oh boy oh boy oh boy dr tony over here this guy should be put in jail i mean this guy should literally be put in jail I, i don't know what else to say uh it's absolutely uh ridiculous and yeah no some of it is two years old um yeah no and not two years old but some of it is feels like it's two years old because it was so long ago right uh, I love this one. Seeing Dr. Fauci makes me as ill as seeing Jack Murphy piss. Oh, God. Yeah, it's triggering, right? It's triggering. Uh, Nico says, my prediction for 2022, hashtag me too for Fauci. Look, Fauci, Fauci me tooed us all, right? Me tooed us all. And yeah, guys, I appreciate the super chats because RIP my channel when I play, uh, play this with the word uh, juice. But that's actually gotten a little bit lighter because here's the thing. The narrative has changed, right? The narrative has changed. And how do I know this? I don't know this through the law. I know this through talking to common people and also listening to the news, right? So when I go back and I'm dealing with US clients, I'm calling people and I'm calling clients that, or people I'm working with that are raving, crazy, lunatic leftists. And even they are saying, yeah, well, you know, um, we're thinking about going on vacation. And last year they were freaking out. They were hiding. They weren't going anywhere. But this year they're like, oh, well, you know, we're, we're just going to do it. You know, I, I haven't held my kid's birthday party, right, in, in two years now, right? So I, this will be the second year if I, if I don't hold it this year. And, I, and they said, we can't do that. We're just holding it, whatever. I think that when I hear that from people that are far left, Like, we're just holding this birthday party. We don't care if it's a super spreader event, whatever, YOLO, right? People saying, you know what? Omnicrom ain't so bad. We're just going to go with it. We're going to roll with it, right? When I, I did it, damn. 
So when, when you hear people saying that, you know that's a change. And it's a positive change. And guys, this is a white pill. This is the change that we are taking a W for. Number one, for being consistent, unlike them. We were consistent on this the entire time. We said, hey, none of these things work. This doesn't matter, right? Natural immunity is a thing, by the way. Let's talk about that, right? Why are we talking about that? Why are we in the Republic of Pfizer, right? Um, I love that someone, I was listening to the Dr. Robert Malone um interview. Uh, one's in the chat. If you guys listen to the Dr. Robert Malone interview on Joe Rogan, um, definitely interesting because Dr. Robert Malone was banned off of Twitter right before the episode went live. Um, so very, very interesting how big tech was trying to censor that one. Uh, we'll see how long Spotify keeps it up, but that was a very good interview. You guys should definitely check that one out. And this guy, I mean, you know, a lot of people, they can say, don't know shit about shit, but Dr. Robert Malone knows about are mRNA viruses, like he, sorry, vaccines and, um, you know, mRNA vaccines targeting the cure of viruses, right? He knows about this. He was intimately involved with this. He knows about data. He knows about VAERS. He knows about how trash it is. So this is a guy who knows the dirty laundry, right? So you've got to pay attention to that. Um, and do strip clubs have a curfew? Uh, <laughs> uh, yes, they do. Uh, but not the sketchy ones that you don't know about, right? Um, and oh, Max, we are going to be, um, shout out to Max, my boy here. He always sends me great articles, great information. I am going to be doing the Greta Kelly stuff. I'm putting it together, making sure I got it all together. But I am going to be doing something on Greg Kelly because the Japanese justice system has done this guy wrong, has done this guy absolutely dirty and at, at every turn, really at every turn, and has this guy locked up unjustifiably. And this shows that other countries, you know, they can say they have an American justice system, but a lot of times they do not. It's just lip service, right? It's just lip service to the American way. And that's one reason why America is so great. Um, shout out to, uh, I see Lile um, here in the chat who uh, sent me some great messages. Um, you know, she mentioned that, hey, when she started out, she didn't have a really positive um, view of America. But over time, you know, as somebody who lives abroad and, you know, as a non-American, but over time listening to my channel and other people as well, and getting good information, learning about the constitution has grown in respect for it. So I think even foreign countries still to this day has something to learn about the constitution and something to learn about the power of the constitution, right? And the power of having these rights and the power of standing up and fighting back, right? Because so many people are not willing to do it. And for the white pill that we are winning here, we are winning, we are getting W's, we are pushing back, we are seeing these restrictions melt away, we're seeing these juice programs fail, right? But at the same time, we see that so many people are willing to comply. So many people are willing to just do what they're told. But this community is growing. My channel is growing. The other law tubers, the ones that stand up for this, their communities are growing. We are getting the message out there. Thank God we did it this year. And Rittenhouse may have been a vehicle, right? It was a great verdict, a super highlight of 2021 for me. I mean, the best moment was when Gage Grosskreutz admitted that he pointed his gun at him. And it was like, that's it right there. Not guilty. That moment, that clip, it's on my channel. You can review that. One of the best moments of 2021. And it brought people to this message. And now they're learning more right? So keep sharing this message with, with people, guys. It is making a difference. It is getting out there and they're having to pay attention, right? Um, Danny says, I said in January, 2020, that this will never end because the state will not willingly give up power. Reactions range from, oh, well, to I'll know. Also follow Dr. Malone on Gitter. Yeah. Shout out to Dr. Malone. I mean, he, bro, I cannot believe that they are censoring a doctor with his bona fides, right? He's not a crackpot. He's not somebody who doesn't know what he's talking about. He's not somebody who didn't go to medical school. He's not like a witch doctor, right? He's not some sort of like, you know, hocus pocus, uh, out of focus situation here. This is something where he knows what he's talking about. He's involved in it and they're banning him. It's insane. 